Directorate of Criminal Investigations has revealed the identities of 12 women believed to be part of an intricate syndicate of stupefying revelers before robbing them. The 12 women linked to Samuel Muvota, the man captured on CCTV as he was shot by an assailant at Mirema, are suspected to be frequent visitors of entertainment joints where they land their targets, mostly men. Detectives are searching for Muvota's business associate, Dennis Karani Gashoki, as the main suspect behind the gruesome murder. Hassan Mugambi with the details. Detectives have unmasked the identity of the main suspect behind the daylight murder of Samuel Mugo Muvota at Mirema area of Nairobi, 2 p.m. Monday. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations has it that Dennis Karani Gashoki is armed and dangerous and the man who procured the broad daylight shooting of Muvota. He is said to be in possession of a firearm that was snatched from a stupefied police officer at a popular joint in Mombasa in November 2020. The DCI says efforts by detectives to arrest him have been futile as Gashoki influences rogue police officers who tip him off once an operation against him is launched. Investigations into communications between Muvota and Gashoki revealed a bitter fallout of a sharing of proceeds stolen from victims whose drinks had been spiked. Gashoki is said to have threatened to kill Muvota in several messages after he allegedly failed to pick his calls. The last signal on the suspect's phone was tracked inside Burnt Forest. Detectives have also published photos of some 12 women alleged to have been enlisted to stupefy revelers before robbing them. The women believed to work for Muvota are said to target middle-aged to older men at popular drinking spots and spike their drinks before stealing money from their bank accounts and phones. They identify their victims by the brand of drinks they order and how they dress. The DCI says most of these women have been arrested before, but Movota would always bail them out by approaching the complainants, refunding them their money, and reaching an out-of-court agreement to dissolve the case. However, most of the cases went unreported as the drugged men were mainly married and respectable people in the society who did not wish to be identified. The women are said to have been mostly deployed in entertainment joints and nightclubs along Thika Superhighway, Kiambu Road, Kayole, Ruaka and Ruai. Bar owners in the areas and beyond have been advised to be on the lookout for suspicious characters amongst their revelers. Hassan Bugambi, Citizen TV.